Let us introduce you to our new service which is called the document management service. Through this service, you can track, manage and store folders and files for your DMS users. Now this users can view, edit, delete, upload, download and share their documents with other DMS users that is the document management service user ensuring complete sync of the documents either via desktop or mobile devices or through browsers. So today we will log in as a DMS user into our webmail and check how these documents can be shared with my other DMS users. Once you have logged in, you have to go to the Documents tab. So here you have access your main web interface. So now here you can add the file, edit the file, remove files or share with your other DMS users based on the access privileges that has been set for you. The first option to start with is New. Now under new, you can add a text file, a folder or from link. Let's add a text file. Click on enter. Now this file has been added. If you want to put some data into that file, you just simply click on that file and put in the details. Once you have put in the details of the file, save. Fine, now go back to your My Docs. And here you can see that something is been written over there. Now on your right hand side you have the option of edit. So if you want to edit the name of the file, you can do it. This is, we have moved to a different text file. Now here you have the option to download the file, then you have versions, we will tell you what versions is all about and you have the share option. Now versions basically helps you to have a similar copy of the same file, but maybe some editing has been done on that file. To understand that better, let's open the file. Now here it contains only one file, I will add more lines to it. Once done, I'll save it and go back to my My Docs. Now here under versions, you can see it shows one minute ago. So this specific file was being saved just one minute ago. If you want to replace this file or have the file back to its original document, that is, now this file contains two lines. Previously, it contained only one sentence. So in your document, you have, if you have uh, edited any of the uh, important data, it will give you the previous version of that specific file. Now here, if you want to restore it, that is, if you want this file to get removed and get replaced by this one, you can click on restore. So sometimes if your data gets deleted or if you are not aware uh, where the changes that you have done, you can use this versions feature to get back to your original file and get hold of your data. So let's check what happens if I click on restore. Now once I have clicked on restore, here it is. You can see that it has come back to my previous content of that specific file. Let's see what other features we have for you. Now here you have the share option. What the share option uh, basically does and how it will help you out. If you click on share, it will ask for share with the user or the group that you have maintained for your specific domain for your DMS users. Now here I will share this document with my 
internal user or my own domain user so if you just type in the person name it will show you then once you have selected it gives you the option whether you want this user to share this specific file to edit the file and to update so depending on the situation and depending on the user you can cast a different restrictions on that particular user if you want to delete that is uh, this is for unsharing if you don't want to share this file with this particular user you can click on unshare as well if you scroll down a bit you have option share link what it does it is this is the link where if you share this link then the person will be able to view this file under this link if you want to make it password protective with your most uh, password protected password you can put the same over here and make it password protected the email link that is if you want to share uh, share this link with a specific user you can put the link uh, uh, put the email id of the user here and click on send then this user will receive this link through which this file will be available now set expiration date what it does is here if you mention an expiration date for this specific uh, file to get expired after which the person with whom you are sharing or have sent the link won't be able to see the file so once you have done this settings and if you are sure that you are okay with it you can click on send all right the email has been sent so we will have a look how the email comes when it is being sent <coughs> all right so this is the delete option very simple if you want to delete your file you can do that Let's log in into the ID to which we have sent it. All right. So this is the file. Now let's click on View and see whether does it really give us that specific file. All right. So this is the file. Either you are, you can download it. Now this has come because it just contain one single sentence. Definitely, it will be more vivid when it comes to real documents that you are sharing with your user. Now next, you have the upload option. That is, if you want to any uh, upload any document from your uh, physical system, you can do it from here as well. Let's upload a file. So here how it looks like. Great. Now let's scroll up and check out other features. Now the folder option gives you to create a specific folder. Say demo. Enter. The folder has been created. Similarly from link suppose if you see this is my document a PDF file which I have uploaded on my server. Now what I want to do is I want to upload directly from a specific link. Very simple, just copy the link and paste it over here. Let's check whether the file has been added or not. There you go. So you have the file which can be even uploaded directly from a link into your document management service. Now here you have the navigation bar that is it will help you to navigate to a specific folder or to a file. Say for example if you go to documents and if you want to move back to a different section to your previous section where you were you can use this icon now here it gives you the deleted files the files that has been deleted for your document management system next under settings this is a link so this address helps you to access your files via our web dev protocol how it does let's copy the link and paste it in our browser 
Okay, so it gives you all the documents that you have uploaded on your document management service. So from here, directly you can download the file. Excellent. Isn't it easy for you to download the files directly from the server? Let's go back and check the other excellent and interesting features of our document management service. Now here it gives you the activity that is the tasks that uh, you have carried out, the task that the other people has carried out when you have shared the documents with them or they have shared the documents with you. And the shares gives you what kind of file you have shared with which users. Then you have the my groups that is you can create your own group, add users to that group and go ahead. Let's say a group name will be meeting, create a group. So here you can basically add the users for the meeting that has to be uh, happen in your company premise and invite and share your documents with those DMS users. The import group normally is importing the um, list of CSV users that you have in your physical uh, computer system and then you can directly upload it into your DMS service that is the document management service. Let's go back. Now it might happen that uh, you have shared so many documents or you have so many documents of yours and it's very difficult for you to reach to a specific file that you are actually looking out for. So we have given you a provision wherein if you just type in the name of the folder or the file that you have, it will simply fetch the uh, file and the folder starting with the name and it will show you where it is. If you select this, it will take you to that particular path. Great. Now here we have given the desktop and the mobile client. So this document management service can be used through your mobile devices as well. So if you click on it and uh, PDF file will get downloaded and it will help you to configure the same into your mobile handset. For other videos and everything uh, related to how to configure this DMS into your mobile devices and everything, you have to look out for the other videos that we'll be posting very soon. So this brings us to our overall view of our DMS servers. We will be bringing more videos on individual entities of DMS to more uh, to make your work more elegant and simple. In the meantime, if you have any suggestion or questions that can be simply mailed to support at qlc.in. Thank you.